Hello, this is Joe Murray for News for Scotland, and I'm talking with Ewan McIntyre of Shall Festival Small Halls here in the Isle of Skye. So, Ewan, this is the last night of what is a wonderful festival of small halls. Can you tell us a little bit about the festival and how it's gone this year? Absolutely, yeah, it's been fantastic. So, uh, basically, the festival is about bringing together eight musicians from different backgrounds, and they get together and form two unique bands over the course of two weeks and each week it changes so basically they make a whole new set and then they go all across the little halls around Sky and do a unique show every night and then basically in top and tails with a Kaylee dance and the show mixed together with all of the musicians together so and the other ones are just four of the musicians in their individual bands if that's that's clear (laughs) so how have the responses by the audience and the artists been I mean, for the artists, they get treated really well. And, you know, for musicians, I play a lot of music myself, and it's quite difficult sometimes to really feel a deep connection with what you're doing and who you're playing to. In this particular festival, they get to to be based in one central location and go off to these different areas and really get to know each other and get to know the music they're playing and get to know the communities that they're playing with. And uh, so for them, it's it's luxury. Uh, I think it's a, it's a really perfect artistic, holistic experience. And then for the for the halls themselves, they get some of the best musicians from over Scotland brought right to their doorstep, uh, doing something completely unique. But still, it you know it hovers around a kind of traditional sphere. But it's definitely you know it, it, you know we've got like. Helen, uh, Hannah Mool, sorry, um, who is this amazing cellist who doesn't play any you know, like classical and kind of pop, weird, abstract stuff. And uh, yeah, and then she gets to mix together with these traditional yeah. musicians. And stuff. I just heard yeah. her. I just heard her sing a song there. Yeah. And, it, and she was absolutely yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Starting. Well, right. right. something like New York at their best could not have even sounded as good as that. Totally, she is. Yeah. She is excellent. Isn't and she? then yeah. you know we've got Laurie Watson, who is like an award-winning Scots singer and fiddle player. And um, and you know and just an array of amazing artists, young and old. Her. <laughs> We're talking about the artists there. How important do you think a festival such as this is to the local communities? I think that it's really essential for the you know for the arts in general to be pushed to their limit. So you can have your your local things, and that's really really important to develop. Uh, local artistic, artistic skills and that's what we actually have with the you know the pipe bands the young pipers that have been brought together by a nurse McCanny, I, I guess uh, yeah and the, he's just you know it's all these young talents and then they get to play alongside these international level artists and for so for them it really it show, it kind of shows you what you can do with music and the value of it. So it's mixing the folk level culture of music alongside international level and national level, and just trying to get that sense of yeah that you know that you could you can you know you can do it as a community thing. You can also do it professional, and both things are just as important and uh, mirror each other and like make each other stronger. And, and I have to say, watching those young teenagers today they were absolutely yeah. immense I mean they're incredibly talented young people absolutely yeah. wonderful to watch them yeah 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 but you are the, uh, the 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 Gaelic officer for this project yeah how important is that and what is your role really in the Gaelic side of this yeah so my role is to make sure that there's you know the Gaelic culture is respected and represented across the activities that we do and it's a, an integral part of Scottish culture and particularly on Sky in the last 50 years it's really the levels of Gaelic have plummeted severely and you know so it's it's trying to do it from a kind of grassroots up way in which it just becomes a normal thing as, a, as opposed to being something that's enforced and so it's you've got things like it's really strong in schools but then making sure that it's uh, a part of the community activities that happen too. So within music, it's just music and arts are just a great way of, of getting people involved in things and making it normalised. Are you seeing progress in that work? Well, I just started in August, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well that, that's a bit unfair then. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I'm hopeful. Um, at least, I, like I was saying earlier, I, I lived in Quebec and just the just the, the conversations that you have there with um, minority languages I mean French is no minority language but 
in North America surrounded by Anglophone cultures is a big conversation that everybody has in the importance of French language and indigenous languages and it, should, it is an important conversation that should be have that we should be having on a much deeper level in Scotland. For the same reasons, of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 You know, with Gaelic and Scots and other, and every, all the little intricacies of our, of our culture. Yeah. You're, a, you're a very accomplished musician in your own right, yeah. uh, you and so. Ah, stop, stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been I've been watching and listening to you for a few days now. I've yeah. been introduced to your music through a friend of mine, or a mutual friend of ours. Yeah. So tell our listeners a little bit about your own music. About my music. Yes. Well, I started. Music is just like such an important part of my life, and particularly as a teenager, I just like writing songs and rocking out with with friends um, and. Currently, you know, I, I, you know, I've done music in lots and lots of different ways, and like folk rock, blah, blah, lots of different styles. Um, but currently, I kind of see it as a as a really great tool to use to engage with communities and young people, particularly, um, to express themselves and bring, to bring people together. Um, so, and I, I like, I, I'm addicted to, I'm an addicted songwriter. It's like, for me, that's my therapy, and uh, <laughs> couldn't stop if I wanted to. But you, you've, had, you've, you've had some success as a musician, yeah? You've, you seem to have some uh, success as a musician, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's like all relative, really, is like, what is success? If you're having a good time and if you're enjoying yourself, then that's the most important thing. Yeah, I've played with, like, award-winning bands and, like, bluegrass Celtic band, Southern Tenant Folk Union. I, I've sang at the Scottish Parliament to, like, 10,000 people. And, you know, I, I've had some good gigs. I supported Coolio when I was, like, 19 or something like that. Was this, that was probably the most ridiculous gig that I've ever done. Yeah. I think he was banned from Edinburgh after that gig. And uh, <laughs> but I read somewhere you, you, you supported the Hot House Lairs as well, is that right? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure where you read that, but um, yeah, I did. Um, in 2013, I think, uh, with my old band, the Southern Tenant Folk Union. They, yeah. Yeah. So, so that that's a success, isn't it? And, and a, a personal success in your Yeah, music. for sure. Yeah, and I've toured course. around Europe and toured around North America. And, yeah, I love it. Now, I was introduced to your music on YouTube. Where we, this goes out on YouTube. I'll put a, a connection to oh, you. Oh, please do. Some of our, uh, and, I ha- and I'm doing shows with my band this year, and we're playing festivals and things. So, yeah. So what's like, your ba- what's the, your band's name? It, well, it's just under my name, which is Ewan McIntyre. Ewan. And... Um, yeah, well, it started off as a just a you know I was in Canada basically, and because I'd always played with bands, but then I arrived in Canada, met a guy, and he was like, you know, here, play me some of your play me some of your songs, and uh, and I was like, oh, cool, play some songs. So we then we recorded an album, and then we did some other recording projects, and yeah, just kind of like you know. Well, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a link yeah, up cheers, to, to you because I'm pretty sure talking to you, some of your listeners would like to make sort of like, yeah, contact with you and amazing. listen to your music. Yeah, uh, appreciate that. Right, so just to go back to end here, uh, back to the festival, you know, you're obviously happy about how the festival's gone this year. Are you are you looking forward to next year? Oh yeah, absolutely. What, so what do you, what's your hopes for next year? So the team is really we've done outstanding work because we only just started in, at the end of September, all four of us. So we had like two months to put this all together, and it's out, it's been outstanding. Um, so now we're really in the throes of planning next year and planning, all, you know, yeah. Yeah, everything for that so it's going to be amazing but, but we started right about the same time as uh, News for Scotland so we've only two months <laughs> to put this all together oh, as well oh, so cool. we've been we're living in the same timeline cool. but anyway you and McIntyre thanks so much for talking to News for Scotland Cheers. and we wish you good fortune for, for this us, festival though. next year it's an absolutely wonderful festival we really enjoy it. you can hear the crowd in yeah, there today yeah. it's been a really brilliant night with some really talented musicians you and thanks very much for talking to us thank you for having us and that was you and McIntyre you can find Ewan's band, the Ewan McIntyre Band, on YouTube. As you can imagine, the last night of a festival can be very busy for the organisers and trying to interview them during the show, well, can be tricky. The festival's creative director, Jamie Sutherland, was no different, but he was very helpful and managed to spare me a few minutes. I'm talking with Jamie Sutherland here as creative director of Shal's Festival for Small Halls. 
Jamie, this is the last night of the Small Hogs Festival and it's, uh, I've had a thoroughly great night tonight. You, as, as creative director of, of the festival, you've not a lot of time to put this together with your team, I mean, but how do you think it's gone? I, I think we've had an amazing um, sort of two weeks, amazing fortnight. You know, our, our events coordinator, Rory Gordon, pulled together the artistic content. It was my job to kind of give him the, the means to go and put on a festival. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and uh, you and McIntyre, our Gaelic officer, and Lorraine McLucas, our sort of operations manager, you know, between the, the four of us, we've managed to pull together the thing, and um, it's been amazing. It's been really, really good, you know, seeing concerts in the small halls across the island happen, you know, live performance, unique live performance, you know, and, and some of the spots have just been incredible to watch, you know, a very different experience for me, so that's... A well, I can certainly agree with that because what I've seen tonight, the, the, the talent and the skills and musical skills in there has been absolutely phenomenal and yeah. everybody's having a ball in there. Yeah. But for such a short period of time, personally, I think they've done a remarkable job. Oh, thank you. So, uh, I just wanted to ask you how you, how you feel about next year. What you, you hope for next year? The next, yeah, I mean, the annual program for next year is starting to come together. It's you know I, I just came into post um, and last week is September, so you know we had um, a major funding application that needed to be put in. We had the Small Halls Festival put together, um, so we've we've started plotting and planning for next year. Um, you know, trying to put together events that create a bit of excitement um, while also fulfilling you know Charles intrinsic agreement to put community-based events out you know and, and bring local communities together to celebrate sort of performance and, and art and culture and and uh, you know and being together so it's, uh, that's that's the plan well I can say you certainly did that well Jamie Sutherland thanks very much for talking to news for Scotland uh, we've spoken to your colleague Ewan McIntyre and the whole thing has worked really well so thanks very much for talking to us it's a pleasure and uh, great luck for next year and I hope it, if it goes as well as this it's going to be another great well, festival we'll see you next so, year and if you're, if you're anywhere you should come and watch this it's absolutely brilliant Well, that was Shao Small Halls Festival in Sky for 2023, and by all accounts, the festival was a great success. If the final show was anything to go by, I would have to agree. This is Joe Murray for News for Scotland. Thanks for listening.